relaxing and calming. So if you took your fresh lavender from the garden and bring it into the bedroom. Mm. What a nice way to help you unwind, make a little sachet, oh. uh, or just have it out to bring that color yes. and fragrance to your garden. We're bringing you a three-piece set, and this is the Blue Jeans Lavender Collection, and this available on Easy Pay with free shipping. Now, Katie, you were telling me some of the challenges with growing lavender in the past were kind of the way it grows. Mm -hmm. Tall, That's a little right. unruly. This yes. is different. This is different. We bring you a lot of lavender here at Cottage Farms because we're big fans and mm -hmm. we know you are too for yeah. so many wonderful reasons. But oftentimes, many lavenders I've grown do the same thing. You come out after a big summer rainstorm and Where'd that plant go? Uh -huh. It has flopped over completely, and now you have a hole where you once had lavender. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It'll eventually pop back up, usually, but because this is a compact variety, it only grows to be about 15 inches tall, mm -hmm. it will never do that. The stalks are sturdier, and that's why we pick these compact lavender, because we don't want holes in your garden. Mm -hmm. We want color. We want this beautiful lavender, and this, this the blue jeans, the reason it's named that is mm -hmm. because it's actually almost a deeper purple. It's a. It's going to be a bluer purple than seen on your more traditional lavenders. Okay, but I like it. It's, it's very great. It's an intense purple and this you were telling me that is like delicious. the French I already do. Yes. Like, Don't you smell it? It's so mm. amazing and you know one of the things I, I I like to remember this because smelling strongly scented plants like this helps evoke your memory. Yeah. So I had a bouquet. My florist, I didn't know that until my florist at my wedding put a sprig of lavender in my wedding bouquet. And she said, that's Every because time you, you smell it, it'll help evoke that memory of the day. So if you want something you want to remember, or if there's someone you want to remember, this is a great thing to plant and have, you know, every time you smell it, it'll be that little memory of them. This is just Isn't so lovely. Wonderful? And this isn't even one of those like real heady lavenders. Mm -hmm. Like it's just right. Yeah. It's just perfect. It is. Oh, now, how am I successful? My, when my lavender arrives, what does it look like? Where does lavender grow best? Or oh, this blue jean Yes, lavender, so a lot of lavenders do not like wet feet. And that is one mm -hmm. of the biggest reasons why I think people don't have success is because, you know, we get a lot of rain in the spring. We get a, some climates get a lot of rain in the summer mm -hmm. and the lavenders never get a chance to dry out. Well, I was telling you the story about this one. Mm -hmm. they, they try, this is a French lavender. They trialed it in a field in France. Can you just imagine that field? A big field of lavender, I'm picturing it now. Mm -hmm. But, th and then they flew flooded the field. This blue jean was the only variety that survived. So you were saying you've got a wet spot. Mm -hmm. You now can grow this lavender in more damp areas than it could be grown before. So I think you'll have, if you've tried lavender before, which a lot of you tell me, I've tried it, I just haven't succeeded. Mm -hmm. This will be a great one for you because it does, it still tolerates heat, still tolerates humidity, still tolerates dry feet, but now it can tolerate the wet feet too. She's hardy. Yes. And beautiful and fragrant. And this collection, it's three easy payments of $8.73. I also, it's very identifiable as a oh, plant. Yeah. I, I know um, it's not like a tropical, but to me it's exotic. It's very I think, exotic. I think of France, yes, but I think of Yes, it's the Mediterranean. Mm -hmm. The Philadelphia Flower Show, where I was a judge last Friday, the theme is the French Riviera. Ah. And I mean, the lavender there, because that's, it's exactly what you feel. It's that Mediterranean feel of lavender where they can grow these. What was the big winner? Oh, well, they're all winners, but Barbara <laughs> King did the entrance, and that really was fantastic. Oh. Entrance was my favorite. Okay. This, I, I've never been, I need to oh, go, yes. maybe this weekend. Um, the lavender photos here. I love when you see, you mentioned the fields. Yes. This I see behind the lavender, I see pinks and whites. Are they using that almost like the border? Exactly, and because these are compact, only about 15 inches tall, these would work great in a border. They also, it's, I think those are roses, it's kind of hard to tell. Behind it. But I'm pretty sure those are roses. These make such a good complement to roses. Okay, real quick, before we leave that shot, if I want that look, Katie, yes. how far apart should I plant them and about how many yeah. like, would you think were in that? So oh, this right picture there. looks like four images. Uh, the four. one, you know, the one with the, the pink flowers mm -hmm. looks like four plants. Because these will grow to be about that 15 inches wide, mm. I would say make sure you're planting them 15 inches apart. Okay. Because you know, with lots of our plants, you can plant them dense, but because this is going to be, you want that hedge mm -hmm. shape, mm -hmm. you want that hedge form. Give them that full potential room. to grow into that 15 inches, and that you'll have your own little, you know, French field of lavender at home, where you can, as you said, sash sachets. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. A little home spa. Or I've even seen um, people putting little lavender sprigs in ice cubes oh, and yes. things like that. You can have fun with it. You can clip the flowers. 
put them in a champagne glass mm -hmm. of champagne. You can also use the leaves. So both mm -hmm. parts of this plant are edible and usable. Mm -hmm. Baking, and, you yep. know, both for aromatherapy and for eating. I've seen lev uh, lavender lemon cookies. Yes. I actually, when I was in the Mediterranean, they had lavender honey. It was infused Yum. with lavender. Yes. Um, I guess the, I, I'm drawn to lavender. Maybe you are a fan of the fragrance too. Now you can grow your own. And when there's a slight breeze that yes. day, you're going to smell it oh. wafting through the yes, air. This is our only lavender. And this is going to be a lot hardier for you because it can also tolerate wet conditions. Mm -hmm. More damp soil. M66957 is your item number. Now here's my question. I, think, I know I've asked you this before. It comes and it arrives yes. during my ship week, mm -hmm. but I'm not able to plant it right That's away. Okay. What do I do so that they stay hardy for me until I can get them in so, my plant and my pot of the ground? This is what this one looks like when it comes home, and it's going to be wrapped in a plastic bag. So what you ma make sure you do immediately is take it out of the plastic bag so it can breathe. Check, poke your finger in the soil, check mm -hmm. to make sure it's got a little bit of water in there. You don't want it to be soaking wet. And then you can leave it. If it's a full sun plant, throw it out in the full sun. Okay. You know, you can even leave it on your porch for a day or two, but just leave it out in your patio until you are ready to plant it. All right, good to know. Yes. M66957 is your item number. This is $8 and some change to bring it home. You see, I still have my little sprig of lavender. Oh, yeah. I can't stop smelling. It's so just relaxing. so, it is. And it's beautiful. I love the just unique look of lavender. These beautiful tall stalks of petals and yes, flowers flowers which have the fragrance mm -hmm. and the leaves which, which yep, what you're smelling yes. here the leaves are more of that classic lavender fragrance mm -hmm. you can dry both you can just okay. snip a bunch of these off and hang them up upside down in a bouquet so th and those that bouquet will last you for years mm -hmm. and so it's just really one of those impactful plants in the garden that there are so many uses for and it's a pollinator plant we haven't even mentioned the oh, pollinators okay. this is a super pollinator plant it's one of a favorites with them and if you're thinking about putting together a little pollinator garden mm -hmm. i pulled some bee balm over here so you uh, can is, see is this my raspberry, this is your raspberry wine. wine yes this is coming up later in the show by the way so we'll have a little cocktail later um, but the colors the colors work, work so great. nicely look at this together oh I because love that because there's a little bit of purple popping up in our raspberry wine but it's on the same side of the color that's, that's gorgeous right. this to me looks like you had a pro come to your home yes. they put in all these beautiful plants for you um, but you know what? You get to do the work. You save a ton of money. Yep. These are great values, and we ship them directly to your home. No dirt in the back of your trunk. No lifting. Never... No getting your outfit messy. Yes, you're right. Yes. Um, if you are looking for more of the fragrant plants, the lavender is a good one. And we had what did we have the earlier? Phlox. The flocks. The white flocks. It's a great fill. fragrance. Mm -hmm. And our butterfly bush, which these have very similar looks, looks to it. Just, to them, mm -hmm. yes. But it's also fragrant. This would work great with the butterfly bush. That butterfly bush is four feet, so you'd want to plant it behind this. This nice could almost be a hedge in front of your butterfly bush. Put some, you know, maybe do one of these, a bee balm in front of it. You know, you want to kind of plant multiple plants together. That's mm -hmm. what I think, really creating a garden. Look That's at your yard and take out a, just a little corner of it, a mm -hmm. little slice that you can see from the inside of your house. Mm -hmm. So that way when you're inside, you can you enjoy it too. It. Mm -hmm. That you can, you know, don't put it around the perimeter of your house where a lot of us have our gardens. You can't see that. Yeah. Put it out a little bit where your eye is drawn from your kitchen where you're washing dishes or something. Mm -hmm. And now you can enjoy the color. You can enjoy the pollinators if they're around it. And then you'll be drawn out there. Okay, you have me excited, Katie. <laughs> um, and I really want to know when I can start planting. So we're going to share the zone map again in just Great. a second. That way you'll know when to expect your plants. It makes it easy. We are in the Northeast. We're in Pennsylvania. Taking a look at our zone map, it looks like we are kind of in the early April, That's late right. March, early April-ish. Yep. yep. Okay. We're, we're in the sixes here, mm -hmm. but you know, with with the way that it's warming, we've been able to grow zone seven plants, which is cool. But take a look at that map and match the area of the country where you live with that mm -hmm. boxes below. And that date next to it is when these lavender and our other perennials in the show will ship out to you. A couple of our zones will Are be getting their plants. Opening soon, which Very always soon. is a sign. Well, yeah.